Coming up in today's fossil hunting video, I find some awesome, rare calcite fossils. Plus, I test out a microscope that fits directly onto your smartphone on various beach surfaces. It's an early but beautiful start to the day, heading down to one of my local beaches. So I've been hunting for some awesome, rare Jurassic fossils this week, and I'm going to head to the same beach now and try and find a few more. I've got some really good fossils to show you in this video, so make sure you keep watching. Let's head down to the beach and see what we can find. So we've made it onto the beautiful sandy beach. Upon getting down to the beach, I was super shocked to straight away find this beautiful rare ammonite sat staring up at me from the shingle. On past fossil hunts, I found the first section of the beach to be really unproductive, so this must have been a very lucky find, possibly brought in on the previous tide by the sea. You can see the footage of me now preparing the ammonite. So I thought I'd show you some of the finds prepared as and when I find them in the video. This ammonite prepared out beautifully in my opinion along with quite a few others in this video. These are rare fossils from the Low Elias and they're 200 million years old. The Outer Worlds did obtain a little bit of wear by the sea, but you can see where it was covered and I prepared it out and it's quite a lot more crisp. So there's been quite a few fresh cliff falls. You can see there's a clump at the top right up there, which looks like that's going to go at any minute now. Definitely won't stick around long. It's only mud, so it'll be straight on the beach. That's why you don't go under the cliffs. So I've just picked up this beautiful fossilized shell. So just to put it into a bit of perspective for you, this is a 200 million year old Jurassic shell from the Lower Elias. So here's another find, there's a very worn Arneoceros ammonite sticking out of this block. This one will be one to leave on the beach. But my dad did just find this one here. Now this one isn't a rare Lower Elias one, it looks like a Catacoloceros maybe. So I've just cracked open this really grey looking rock and inside was this rare ammonite here. Don't know exactly what it is, I'm guessing. Maybe it's some type of Paltechioceros, but it's quite interesting. I'll keep it. If you do enjoy watching my YouTube videos, please remember to hit that subscribe button. Thank you. So I've just spotted what looks like a nice ammonite. Only a little tiny one, but I'm hoping it's going to be all there. Let's take a look at it. Oh yes. Well pleased with that. Not sure the species, but very happy. Now let's take a look at this lovely little ammonite. Now I've prepared it using my tools back at home. It was actually an ammonite called a Gagatisserus and it's prepared out very nice. This lovely ammonite will probably end up on the website at some point in the near future and that's because I did find this really, really good example about a week or so ago. So you can see a lovely little one on the back of the rock here but wait till you see the ammonite on the other side. It's a beautiful calcified one. I really do enjoy preparing these lovely ammonites out. I'm hoping to find quite a few more in the future. So there's quite a few piratized little ammonites on this block of shale. Don't think there'll be any more in there, so I'm going to leave this one. But always nice to see. Super piratized, they remind me of the ones you get from Lyme Regis in Dorset. So I had an email from Apexel 
who make these little microscopes that fit onto your mobile phones and I thought it'd be a really good idea to take one down to the beach and test it out. It basically goes on top of your mobile phone and gives you 200 times zoom for your pictures and videos. Well, it looks really cool. So let's go ahead and test out the microscope for the camera. So I've attached the Apexel microscope to my phone. So we'll see what stuff looks like 200 times zoomed in. So first of all, we're going to have a look at a grain of sand. So now we're going to have a look what this sea moss looks like under the microscope on this big rock. Let's have a look at a barnacle and see what these look like quite close up. If you would like to get your own microscope to add to your phone, I'll put a link of the product in the description. Thank you Apexel for sending me the microscope to try out on the beach. I'd just been sat on this big slab of shale having a break and a drink and I'd noticed this lovely piratized ammonite just wearing out there. Let's go ahead and chisel it out and see if it's all there. So this is a loose shell slab, so I'm perfectly allowed to give it a chisel. So there we go. Let's get it in the sun. A lovely little pyrotized one. So that shows how big these Astyosaurus ammonites can actually get. Now it's not complete but it would have even gone round there. What an absolute monster. So we're making his way back off the beach now. There's still quite a long walk to go, so there's always a chance of finding something. I'll let you know if I do. Unfortunately, I don't have a video of me finding this beautiful fossil because I didn't think it had come out this nice, but take a look at how it prepared. It's absolutely stunning. It's an Astyosaurus species from the Lower Lias, but look at that beautiful calcite showing. That's everything for today's video. Hopefully you have all enjoyed it, and I will see you all on the next one. So hopefully you have all enjoyed this video, and you've enjoyed seeing all of these rarer Lower Elias Ammonites, certainly a little bit different from the usual Dactyloceros specimens that are always put online, a little bit older as well.